Not all hair damage is made equal and you cannot fix everything the same way. So whether your hair feels rough and dry, if your ends are breaking off, if you're shedding more, if it feels stretchy or gummy, or if you're thinning, you need a different approach. Now, all I really want is for you to get the best hair of your life. Listen up and I'm gonna break this down. If your hair is thick, but it feels rough and dry, you need moisture, you need hydration. Now, those are kind of the wrong words to use because in science they mean something different, but it's the easiest way to explain it. You basically need conditioning elements. So those are your moisturizing conditioners, your deep conditioning masks. You want things that are gonna bring softness and suppleness back to your hair. You don't necessarily need to prioritize bond builders or proteins because those two things do different things. I'm gonna to get to that in a minute. If the ends of your hair are breaking off, that's when we need to get a bit more sciency. So Olaplex is the cornerstone for all of this. Olaplex is the only bond builder that links the disulfide bonds end to end, which is a scientific way of basically saying it repairs the hair like nothing else, and that is true. Um, but you do still need conditioning elements, like in point number one up here. You need the Olaplex for strength and to hold the molecules of your hair together, and the conditioning elements to give that suppleness to the ends so they don't continue to break off. Strengthen first, then make them supple. And suppleness comes from a drip feed of moisture on a, on a daily basis. I recommend putting a few drops of oil or serum on the ends of your hair every night before you go to bed. If your hair is shedding, more than you're used to, then there's a different approach entirely. You need to do a proper check-in with your physical and mental health. If you've had stress recently, if you've had an illness recently, you may be going through a shedding cycle. They typically rectify themselves after a while. Your hair follicles will get back in sync. However, things that you can do are manage your physical and mental health, way easier said than done, I know, but incorporating things that give extra energy to the cells of your hair or follicles or skin, such as red light helmets, they're a big investment, but if you can, and having that 10 minutes of mindfulness with the red helmet on every single day, and that is how much you have to use it for it to work, is gonna help calm your nervous system. But the red light itself has also been shown to supercharge the mitochondria of your cells, therefore energizing your hair to get back to normal as quickly as possible. If it was stretchy or gummy, this typically comes from too much chemical processing, so bleaching, perming, relaxing, straightening, etc. then you need to start with Olaplex, build those disulfide bonds end to end, then add protein or products that are described as proteins or peptides, but you still need the conditioning on top, so it's a three-pronged attack. And finally, if your hair is thinning over time, that's different again. Now, the one thing that I would say is Calisim is designed to work on the symptoms of thinning hair, no matter the cause, whether it's emotional health, physical health, illness, age, um, nutrition, whatever it might be, hormones. Um, Calisim has been shown to wake up those hair follicles, no matter what the cause. And I think there's like a 90 to 95% success rate. It's a stem cell product basically that uses messengers to make your own cells work like younger cells. If you combine that with red light investment, I know these aren't necessarily, you know, high street options. These are the best options. It's my job to tell you what the best options are, your job to figure out how much of them you can do. But Calisim and red light together, 